Okay, hey guys, this will be an update video on all my reptiles and on YouTube. So basically, I'm going to be talking about all the new changes and stuff in the last few months and um, the coming up plans on YouTube and what I'm going to be doing um, and also about all the subscribers. So let's get into that first. So as you can see right here, I have 1,200 subscribers. Um, thanks to all of you. Um, I really appreciate that. I think I made a video um, for saying thank you a couple weeks ago um, on Draw My Life thing. And um, in a couple weeks, I've already got 100 more subscribers since the last time I made this. Um, I think I was 100 and I had 1,111 1, at the time, or by the time I made this, and in a couple weeks I already have this many, so hopefully my channel will grow even more, and I'll keep supporting you guys, and hopefully you'll do the same for me, so, um, anyway, that's about my YouTube channel, um, so a lot of people are now watching my channel, and I'm very happy about that. So, about the reptile. So let's just um, call out all the reptiles and amphibians that I have. Um, in this setup, I've got my Japanese clouded salamander. Um, and here we've got my leopard gecko stripey. Um, Y'all know her. Um, she's probably one of the most popular reptiles that I keep. Um, down here we've got my African fat-tailed gecko, um, baby, right there, just sleeping. Um, underneath his setup we've got a nice-looking vivarium with a Japanese fire belly newt larvae somewhere in here. I did not want to look for him. Um, I've also got a big bronze gecko in here, um, doing quite well, but not nice as usual. Um, we've got my Madagascar, Madagascar spidey-tailed iguana right there. Um, you can see his awesome tail. And that's his setup. Pretty much the same as usual. Um, and here, and right, come on, focus. In this setup, it looks a little red from the light, but it's actually more orange. It's just the filter I'm using for the camera. Um, we've got my bearded dragon, which actually grew about three to four centimeters since he came, and that's really cool. Um, so he's still in the same setup. Next to him, we've got my Japanese tree frogs, which are hibernating. Um, you can't really see them right now, so that's that. If you noticed, right here I had a tank with a Chinese fire belly newt aft in here, in here. And I still have him. He's in here now. He's gotten big enough to stay with the adult Japanese fire bellies. So he's in there with them. You can see them right there. Don't really know where the Chinese one is, but oh, he's right there. Can't really see him from the leaves, but he's somewhere right there. Um, right here we've got my. White tree frog, staring at nothing, um, and here we've got my awesome looking vivarium with a Tokyo salamander in here, hopefully I'll focus, probably won't, yep, you can see him right in the middle, hopefully you got a look of him, and my eastern tiger salamander, which is right there. So, basically all my herps and stuff are doing great. I even have my dog here resting right now. <laughs> um, so, all of them are doing great, eating well, and doing great, like I said, I guess. Um, he's grown a lot. You can even see, let me measure him once. Okay, so if you can see right here, he's got about eight centimeters and a couple millimeters I suppose um, pretty close to 19 by now um, I don't know how many um, inches that is um, but you probably get a good 
idea of how big he is compared to my laptop and my hand. Um, he's grown about three to four, four uh, centimeters, like I said, since he came. And you can see he's getting really fat and healthy. So that's great. Um, his colors are showing very well on the camera right now. Um, even though he's currently shedding. Um, that's really cool. Um, he's really warm, he's doing great, and he's awesome as usual. Okay, if you could see right there, um, I've got a pamphlet for a reptile festival that I'll be going this autumn. Um, in, when was it? November 23rd. Um, you probably can't read that stuff down there anyway, so. Um, I'm going to this reptile expo in Japan. Um, really excited for this one. Um, I'm probably going to be getting a couple new pickups, maybe. I don't know yet. Hopefully I can. It'll be really nice since I have less reptiles and stuff since before, well, compared to before, since I released some rescues from the wild. Um, and also a couple passed away, like my blue tongue, which I had before. Um, I don't even know why or how, but a couple of them did, and that's something that I cannot deny. So hopefully I could get some nice new additions, and they'll be great like this guy. Um, so if I were to get something, um, you could guess in the comments down below. Um, hopefully if they have that, I might be able to get it in the expo. Um, I have three herbs which I would like. One is a newt. The other, uh, guess what kind of newt it is, of course. And the other is, other two are reptiles. Um, pro my hint is gonna be probably not snakes or turtles, um, which I wouldn't mind having as well, but it is not, not um, either of those two, so it's probably gonna be a lizard. Anyway, guess in the comments down below um, what pet lizards I'm thinking of. Two of them and one kind of newt. And um, also you could leave comments, um, suggestions of what I should get there. Um, I might even think about it if you do tell me. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.